was good, it was popping. I was having with you all, it's your boy called Phoenix on the road. And no, I'm not moving a load, I'm dead in. Listen up. I just delivered a load from Wisconsin to Northeast Maryland. Second time this week I've been over there. I'm not mad at all. The results are in. And this week is going to be so You know what I'm saying? I'm going north on 95 right now because I'm on my way to Pennsylvania to put my truck in the shop. Why? Well, I got to do an annual BOT inspection. I have called shops all the way across the country from Georgia to California to Maryland and everything in between. Even the main terminal for the company I work for. All of them said the same thing. They were all either one or two weeks out before they could even get me into the shop. I called um, I called up International down there in Frederick, Maryland. They told me they could get me in today, but no guarantee it'll be finished. And I needed this load off my back today. So priorities, what I ended up deciding on, and I'm like, well, I called the yard that we have in Pennsylvania, they told me they'd be able to knock it out. They're not busy today. And I'm 150 miles away from that, so me and my student are off to Pennsylvania, and I'm getting paid to go there because they told me to pick this load, or not load, this trailer up, and one of our customers said it needed repair. So they're gonna pay me to take it all the way up there instead of just deadheading, which I'm thoroughly satisfied with. I can't complain about that at all, but that aside, there's a few things I wanted to discuss, or really two things. First off, a big shout out to Mike. You know who you are. He's one of my subscribers, one of my supporters, somebody you know rock with me. Ran into him in Maryland where I was delivering. I guess you might have been waiting to get a load or something like that. He's Bob Tell. I pulled up to go in the office. He caught me on my way out. I appreciate the positive energy. Yeah, just your attitude all together, man. It really, you know, it might seem small, but it brightened up my day because I've been, you know, just super serious ever since I got back on the road and I haven't really been able to record any videos or haven't had the time to. I'm going to try to get back into it. You guys got to understand, I've just been focused on recovering and I'm just now getting back to, you know, a good place as far as paying stuff off. You know what I mean? But number two, something interesting that happened. So I'm riding up 95 north of Baltimore and I hear some chatter on the CB. And this driver, he's talking about how he just ran a dude off the road, like into the woods because he saw him on his phone. Okay, well, I do agree. No one should be texting and driving. I don't condone that. You know, we argue, well, you know, you shouldn't record anything either. Yes, but see, hands-free is a thing. You could just tell Siri or Google or whatever you have to do whatever you want and it'll make the phone do what you want it to do. So that's neither here nor there. This dude ran a guy off the road because he saw him texting and driving. Keep left on to 95. And I don't think you guys understand just how messed up that is. He was talking about it and bragging as if he was some sort of hero. Oh, that ought to teach him a lesson. You know, I hope they take his license for that. They should take your license for that. And that's why. That's why. See, we are, quote unquote, professionals by trade. We're supposed to be professional drivers. Running somebody off the road because you don't like what they're doing is not the professional thing to do. If they end up getting into an accident or something that has nothing to do with you, why are you worried about it? See, I was taught to believe that out here, you're not just driving for yourself. You drive for everybody else on the road. Which means, if these four-wheelers out here are doing dumb stuff, and you know it's stupid, well, you gotta adjust your driving for that. What do I mean? I see you texting and driving. I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna create as much distance between you and I as I possibly can. Why is that? Because when and if you mess up, 
I have distance to react. I have time to react. I have stopping distance. I have all of that. Crossing border, entering Delaware. I'm not here to exact justice. I'm here to do a job. And I'm here to do my job well. I'm gonna run you off the road. Maybe that'll teach you a lesson. What will we do? What are you not better than that? To me, you just sound like somebody who's bored or jaded and you just got nothing better to do. So you're gonna potentially kill somebody because you think you can get away with it. First off, I don't know. You know, I'm just some random guy on YouTube in all actuality. So I highly doubt this dude to see this. But just understand, I got a dash cam. I got your plates. I got your truck. And my dash cam records audio and video. And it caught you saying all of that. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to do anything with that. What I am saying is I might be nicer than somebody else. Just because I'm not going to say anything, a snitch or whatever, does not mean that somebody else who has the same capability that I have won't. What's stopping me? The only thing stopping me is that it has nothing to do with me, so I don't care personally. But what I am going to tell you guys, especially the newer people who follow me or the people who have aspirations for getting into this industry, what I will tell you guys, don't be that. Be better than that. You see somebody being unsafe, you be as safe as possible. You see they swerving in their lanes or whatever, you back off. You see they texting and driving, you get away from them. Let them be stupid by themselves. At the end of the day, you have a job to do. Don't lose focus on what you need to be doing just because, oh, I want to exact justice on this dude. Because I have this, this savior complex. Like, what are we doing, bro? Be above that, man. It's much better than we got bigger fish to fry out here, man. It's much crap as we really deal out with out here when it comes to shippers, receivers, dispatch, DOT, heck, state troopers. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention all the, the, the factors that are affected with our personal lives. You worrying about this dummy who decides, oh, I could text and drive. I'm, I'm a multitasker. You, you, you decide to focus on that. Second off, why are you paying that much attention? See, when I'm on the road, yes, there are things that you notice. Don't get me wrong. I done seen some wild stuff out here. At the end of the day though, my main focus is on the vehicle and what it's doing. My truck and all of these cars around me. Example, the guy on my left. I can see him out the corner of my eye. He's about to pass me. The guy on the right, two lanes over. I see him out the corner of my eye. He's about to pass. There's another guy on the left. I got good following distance in front of me. There's another guy on my left. That is what I'm paying attention to. Another one's about to pass. That's what I'm paying attention to. I'm paying attention to the vehicles themselves. Do they pose a threat? I could care less what you're doing in your car. Do not be a threat to me though. And if you are, well, I gotta adjust my driving accordingly as a professional should. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to hurt you. There's consequences for stuff like that. Serious consequences at that. But I guess some of these people just don't care. I guess some of these people just don't have anything to lose. And quite frankly, someone with nothing to lose is the most dangerous individual in existence. God just found it mind-blowing that somebody who is a so-called professional would have the audacity, the goal, to do something so heinously stupid and then brag about it. Man, man, I'm a big man. Screw you, dude. I am one of those people that does believe in karma. Maybe somebody won't run you off the road, but you will get that energy back tenfold. As a matter of fact, I hope you do. I hope your wife leave you. I hope your kids hate you. And I hope you never fall asleep peacefully another night of your life. You don't deserve it. And the fact that you can breathe oxygen, the same oxygen that I inhale and exhale through my nose, is offensive to me. I don't like stupid, man. I'm not a fan of it. And that's all I had to say about that. Just figured I'd share that with you guys. It was making me itch, man. It made my bones itch. But anyway, I'm going to continue on 
to the yard. We'll see how long I'm down. I might do a 34 hour reset because I've been running ragged. We'll see what happens. Anyway, as I always tell you guys, be happy, stay blessed. Do not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life. It might end up being the best decision you've ever made.